Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a coloring book app using MIT App Inventor. So for this, we are going to use the canvas component in MIT App Inventor. So this app is very useful for small kids. So you, they can select the color and they can start coloring and there is, they can also increase the brush thickness and color in the image. So you can also put another image in which the kid can color and there are lots of colors which he can use. Now if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventor so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile app. So first you need to make sure you have the images for the coloring book app. So now you can see that I have two images in which nothing is filled and there is only the outline of the image. So here they are going to color. So make sure you have two images or more images like this. So to just show an example I have only two images. Also make sure you rename these to be 1 and 2 and if you have more you can put 3, 4 and 5. So make sure you put numbers like this here. And then also make sure that both of them have the same file type. So you can see this is a jpg file also make sure the other images are also jpg files you can see like this or else you can use converters like here you can see there are many websites in which you can convert from png to jpg or jpg to png so you can try these out and make sure that all of these images have the same file extension so first as i told you before we need a canvas component for this so let's go to drawing and animation and here you can see canvas so here we are going to put the height and width of this canvas to be fill parent so that it occupies the whole screen like you can see here next let's go to user interface and from here we are going to bring in a button let's change the text of this button to be clear and let's change the background color of this to be orange and we are going to make the font to be bold so when the user clicks on this button all the coloring or the changes they have made to the picture should be erased so we are going to bring this to be at center of screen 1. So select screen 1 and change align horizontal and align vertical to be center. So both should be center. Now you can see that the button came to the center of the screen. Next we are going to bring in an horizontal arrangement. Here we are going to put the different colors. So first let's put the width of this to be fill parent. And we are going to put align horizontal and align vertical. Both should be center. So now what you need to do is let's bring in a button. So you need to erase all the text and here I'm going to put the background color of this button to be red. So when they click on this button they can paint or color the picture in red color. So let's put the I'm going to put the width of this to be 14%. So like this I'm going to add more colors to this. Now you can see that I have added seven colors like this. So if it is not fitting like this you can try you can check it in the test it in the mobile and see if it or if all these buttons are fitting in the screen if it is not you can adjust the width width of these buttons so that it can you can fit all of these buttons so if you want you can put more colors so what you what we are going to do now is we are going to rename all these buttons so that we in the block section we can do it clearly so button one is the clear button so let me rename this to be clear btn like this and then button two is the red button so you can rename this to be red and the same way you need to do it for all the colors now you can see that i have renamed all these buttons next we are let's go to layout and from here we are going to bring in horizontal arrangement here so we are going to put the width of this horizontal arrangement to be fill parent like this. You can see that it occupies the whole screen. And then let's go to user interface and from here we are going to bring in a label. Let's change the text of this label to be thickness or brush thickness. Now let's put the font of this to be bold and let's increase the font size to be 70. Now you can see that the font is increased. We are going to bring this to be at middle of the horizontal arrangement. So change align horizontal and align vertical both should be center. Now you can see that it came to the center. Next we are going to bring in a slider so that they can adjust the brush thickness. So let's change the minimum value of this to be 0. And then the width of this should be 50%. 
like now when i click on okay you can see that it is 50 percent next the thumb position of this to be one now you can see that they can use the brush thickness so that they can increase or decrease next let's go to layout and from here we are going to bring in an horizontal arrangement and we are going to put the width of this horizontal arrangement to be fill parent like this inside this horizontal arrangement we are going to put a button let's rename this to be back and we are going to increase the font let's make the font to be bold like this and the background color of this to be orange now you can see that the back button is done so the same way we can duplicate this button and change this to be next now we are going to bring these two buttons to be at the middle so let's change the align horizontal and align vertical both should be center like this now again we are going to rename both of these buttons so button one is the back button so let me put back btn and button two is the next button so this should be next btn now if you want you can also add a save button here so that let me tell you how they can save so here you can see in canvas one there is a block called save as file name so here you can put the file name whichever they want to type and they can save it so you can use that if you want you can put the save button now we are going to upload the media files or the images which we have browsed earlier now you can see that both the images are uploaded and again i'm saying that make sure you have the name to be one two and three like that and also make sure that the file extension like jpg or png if one has jpg the, make sure the other also has the same file extension like you can see here now let's go to canvas one and we are going to put the background image of this to be the first image one dot jpg this one now let's go to the block section so first we are going to create a variable called image number and let's set this image number to be one so let me bring one here next when they drag on the canvas it needs to draw lines and they, they should be able to color the picture so for that let's go to canvas one and here you can see when canvas one dot drag so we are going to bring in this and now let's go to canvas one again and here you can see draw line so we are going to use this block and then the x one is going to be the previous x so let's bring in this and then the y1 should be previous y the x2 should be the current x and the y2 should be so let me put current x here and the y2 should be current y like this next the user needs to change the color by using these buttons so let's add that functionality in the block section so when the red button is clicked i mean the red color button so when red dot click what we are going to do is we are going to change the color we are going to change the color of the canvas so here you can see if you scroll down a bit you will be able to see the paint color so set canvas one dot paint color to and then the color should be red so let's go to colors and here you can see the red color so the same way what you need to do is you need to duplicate this and then the next color is blue so you just need to change it here and then change the paint color of this to be blue so let me speed this process up for you now you can see that we have finished making all the colors next what we need to do is we need to allow them to change the brush thickness so using this slider so in the block section let's go to slider and here you can see when slider one dot position changed so after the position is changed what we are going to do is we are going to set the canvas width so if you scroll down a little bit here you can see line width set canvas one dot line width to it is going to be the thumb position like this now you can see that we have finished the functionality for the brush thickness next let's do the functionality for the clear button so here you can see clear button so when the clear button is clicked what we are going to do is we are going to clear the canvas so here you can see canvas one dot clear this block next we need to do the back and the next button so when they click on back it needs to go to the previous picture and when they click on next it needs to go to the next picture so you can add many images but now i have only two of them so you can see that first we created a variable called image number so to do the functionality for the back and next button we are going to use this image number variable so let's go to let's bring in this block when back button dot click 
so when the back button is clicked what we are going to do is we are going to set the variable so here you can see set let's change the variable of this to be image number two let's bring in the subtraction operator and we will first get the so let's go to variables and here you can see the get block so we will first get the global image number and then we are going to subtract one from it like this we are going to decrement it now after we subtract one what we are going to do is let's go to canvas one and here you can see the canvas one dot let's scroll down a bit here you can see it set canvas one dot background image two so the background image is going to be the image number and then we are going to use the join block so let's go to text and here you can see join so first let's put this and then you need to put the file extension so it can be jpg or png but make sure that all all the files or the images which you have are in the same file extension or the same file type now you can see that the background image is set next let's duplicate this and we are going to do it for the next button so when next button next btn dot click here we are going to add the image number so let's go to math and here you can see addition operator so we are going to use this to add the image number now after we add it we will again do the same thing we will set the canvas one dot background image to we will join both of these now you can see that we have finished all of this but if you are adding a save button for this so that you can save it you can use this block so here you can see in canvas one there is a block called save and called canvas one dot save and called canvas one dot save as so you can use this block so that you can save the file now let us test the app and let's see if it is work so here you can see the coloring book app and here you can see the different colors and then the brush thickness which we can adjust so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to color red here and now i'm going to increase the thickness a little bit so that i can color more and then to color the corners we can just decrease the brush thickness so that the color doesn't go outside now you can see that when i click on blue we can start coloring it here now i'm going to clear everything here and now we can again start coloring here now let me go to the next page of the book the coloring book and here you can see i'm going to put the red color all over here and now let me in increase the brush thickness like this and you can start coloring all over this strawberry and now here you can put the color for this now to to decrease the brush thickness you can do like this now let's say we want to clear this and go to the before page you can click on back and now you can see that this page is back next do you want to create a board app using a mighty app inventor in which you can write and type or you can do anything you want to draw in the whiteboard so watch this tutorial and also watch my full course of mighty app inventor here